like and subscribe right now, or else this will be in your bed tonight. r slash ask reddit by planet reddit. What is something you enjoyed as a kid, but hate as an adult? Receiving a letter. Now it's just bill taxes trash. Receiving mail as a child was exciting. On the contrary, today I spent an hour going through a stack of mail that I let pile up, and shredding about 98% of it. I'm gonna do it. Maybe throw some catnip in there for extra kitty purse. Thanks for the idea. Please report back on the reaction whenever that is. Jumping down 3-4 steps at a time. My knees won't put up with that nonsense now. Holy shit. I used to jump entire flights of stairs for shits and giggles in high school. Do it again. Recapture old glory. Land on the front of your feet rather than the heels and bend your knees. Makes all the difference. Getting older. I'm getting too old for this shit. Diplomatic immunity. It's just been revoked. Staying up all night. As a kid, it was a badge of honor staying up all night long. Going to bed after the sunrise now means that I've worked too much. Sleeping really late as well. As an adult, sleeping late makes me feel like I've wasted a whole day off. Good old times, where you slept from 6pm to 7am. Being in bed at 7pm as a kid, sunlight still shining through the curtains and reading a book till 9 or 10pm. Now I've lost all the time for books and I've certainly no desire to be in bed at 7. Having no job. I still like having no job. What I don't like is having no money. At the end of the day all I want to do is sleep, eat, maybe read a nice book. I have never wanted to be super rich or successful or anything. I don't even want kids. Are you me? This is what I want. Going to the mall. I used to like browsing stores, but now I just want to get what I need and go. Part of it is the mall's fault for me. When I was younger the mall was a bit more varied. You had your toy store, your game store, your arcade. Sharper image, discovery store, candy store, etc. Now I go to the mall and it's the food court and endless apparel stores. All the more interesting stores have been pushed out of business. Right. I remember when you had interesting kiosks with diverse random merchandise. Now it is just a couple of custom shirt makers and 20 kiosks selling Chinese knockoff consoles. Used to have stores that were fun to browse and see what new things they came up with like the science shop. Discovery store, even Brookstone back when they had cool gadgets. Now it is just food, clothes, Gamestop, and Spencers. Right, I remember when you had interesting kiosks with diverse random merchandise. Now it is just a couple of custom shirt makers and 20 kiosks selling Chinese knockoff consoles. But don't forget the Chinese knockoff phone cases, the Chinese knockoff headsets and smartwatches, and such. I miss things like the Discovery Store, the Nature Store, KB Toys, I am not old, I am not old, the random independent PC gaming store we had at ours, ugh, I am old, Barnes and Noble and Borders, we had both in one mall, and such. Christmas, as a kid it was time off school, presents, and seeing my family, as an adult I'm lucky if I get both days off, I stress about finding the right gift for everyone. And I have to see my family. My family will draw names after Thanksgiving dinner so you only have to buy a gift for one person. This is what we do. It's made things exceptionally easier. Same and it doesn't eliminate stress but it cuts it down drastically. We do this for the adults only and get the little kids all presents which is always super easy. BC they like basically anything or a gift card for the older ones. Moving house. I loved packing. Choosing a new room. Exploring a new neighborhood. I'd moved 20 times by the time I turned 18. I'm moving out of my first flat now. And it is the worst. Mum never warned me about the billion calls and contracts and credit scores and references and moving companies and just the general stress of moving out. I hate it. It's the worst. 20 times. Why? Mum had to move a lot because of her job. Mix that in with the fact she gets antsy and wants to move every 6 months and the number just kept going up. I've stayed in my current flat for 2 years and that's the longest I've ever stayed in one place. Wow man. I've only moved 3 2 times in 36 years. Moving is hell to me. And so expensive. Being outside when it's cold. When I was little. 
I could play outside in the snow for hours and not even be the faintest bit of cold. Now I can't even stand being outside during winter for a few minutes. Young children have a high percent of brown fat which burns hyper quickly, allowing the body to warm itself extremely efficiently in response to cold. More similar to wild animals, adults have very little brown fat. Homo sapien adults are geared for low amounts of slow burning yellow fat for sustained energy. This gives babies, who would otherwise be very vulnerable in the winter, a tremendous survival leg up. Can you grow brown fat? I'm sick of my stupid slow burning yellow fat. I'm Puerto Rican and chubby. I grow brown fat all the time. Vienna sausages. My brother and I used to wrestle and fight over who would get the last can. Hadn't had them in ages and was telling my kid about them. So I thought I'd get a can for old times sake. Could not even choke them down. They are so gross to me now. Are you me? I used to love them. Boasted them to my kid and bought a can. You. Even my son didn't like them and he'll eat anything. Gave them to my dog and no lie. She threw them up. LOL. I feel like sadness. I touched a core happy memory and ucked it up. Right? I was like oh. I can pass on a happy memory to my kid and he just remembers it as the day I attempted to deploy a food weapon at him by having him try one. Maybe they changed the recipe. Certain 80s sitcoms. Tried watching the original Full House again and just couldn't get past 10 minutes of it. Pretty much anything with a laugh track is really hard for me to watch now. I had not watched Flintstones in decades and it came on. And it has a fucking laugh track. That can't be right. Looks it up. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Talking about politics. It used to make me feel smart and grown up. Now I just get angry and exhausted. Uck yes. It is almost always a shit fest and you just can't make a sensible conclusion. There is a reason that people are not in one political boat after all. I had an 8th grade English teacher that behinded us an essay. Who would you vote for? Obama or McCain? That class taught me to never talk about politics if you value friendship. Politics, religion, and abortion used to be the rule. My birthday. It's not that I hate it. It's just that I don't care about it anymore. Same. I also don't care about getting presents. I only do something for myself because my kids get mortified at the thought of me not doing something. Staying home on a sick day. As a kid it was a huge victory. Got to stay in bed all day. Watch TV. And having a parent tend to your every need. Then as an adult you're just thinking about the work you're gonna have to make up for and how you hope you don't need to go to a doctor. At my school you have to make up the work so it's no longer fun. Yeah, but that was a problem for tomorrow me to deal with. Today me got a day off. Today me is such an utter tomorrow me. Most of the movies I liked when I was a kid don't hold up as an adult. I've stopped revisiting them so I don't spoil the good memories. Also, that mansion costing $300,000 is depressing now. Shrek holds up. Honestly, I watched it for the first time in like 15 years a few weeks ago. And as much as that movie is a huge meme, it's a really good kids movie. Even aside from the insane amount of adult jokes, the movie holds up extremely well. I didn't even like it that much as a kid. Lunchables. I always told my parents to get me some after seeing the commercials. Looking at it now, who tf actually thinks this is a decent lunch? It's an overpriced box of cheese and crackers and a Capri Sun. My dad once came home with a brick of cheese, a container of deli ham, and a box of ribs and told me I could make my own damn Lunchables. Homemade Lunchables are best Lunchables. Yep, we call it charcuterie. Ravioli in a can. Don't get me wrong. I love ravioli. Just not canned. Frozen isn't too hard to make it's much better. My grocery store sells fresh made ravioli and tortellini and I spend way too much money on them. I mean, nobody wants to admit they ate 9 cans of ravioli, but I did. I'm ashamed of myself. The first can doesn't count. Then you get to the second and third. Fourth and fifth I think I burnt with the blowtorch. And then I just kept eating. Going outside during the summer. Uck the heat. Uck bugs. Uck humidity. Uck bugs. Uck hot behind wind. Uck bugs. Uck direct skin burning sunlight with hot behind wind. And uck bugs. 
Summer in general. I loved it as a kid because it meant no school. Now it just means sweaty swamp behind 24-7. I never understood why people got so frustrated with insects that they put poison in their yard. Until I bought a house. It's 100 ducking degrees out there with 50% humidity or greater. Everything wants to bite me. For some damn reason. If I spend more than a few hours out in the yard, I am covered in bug bites. Some that itch for days. Mowing is ucking awful thanks to the bugs. Half the time. I don't even know what bit me. Don't forget to turn off the lights before opening your outside doors at night. That way a billion ants with six legs and wings don't fly in and ruin your whole week. Mosquitoes can literally uck off and die and I think everyone and every animal would be happier. In fact, I think mosquitoes are one of the number one reason why there isn't peace in the world. Everyone is so pissed off at mosquitoes. They're lashing out at others. I will never understand why summer is viewed as the time of the year when you can do things outside. Summer is the only season when I don't want to be outside. Roller coasters. While I never liked the big ones, I like the small ones okay. But being almost 40 and riding them makes me feel like I might die afterwards. Around age 30, they suddenly made me nauseous. I enjoy them, but feeling pukey for the rest of the day isn't worth it. I can relate though it happened to me a little earlier, in my mid 20s. Last time I went to an amusement park I took some Dramamine and a parking lot to see if it helped. It did help a fair bit though I still had to take breaks between coasters. Running. I used to race my brother everywhere, just for fun. Now, I'm definitely not running for that bus I could easily catch. I'd rather sit around and wait 3120 minutes for the next one. I'm the opposite. I was the chubby kid at school so hated running. I'd always finish last. As a cliche fat kid I grew up to eat healthy and exercise regularly. Running being one of my go to faves. I'm mid 30s now and whilst I'm no model. I'm lean and healthy. Awesome. Good for you. I was a fast kid. But then I developed asthma. So while I'm still active in other ways. Running is not something I would do except in emergencies. Sadly. The holiday season. I now see why my parents seemed exasperated when I complained when decorations weren't up post thanksgiving or why they seemed so much more stressed than I ever even considered being. School would end. I would get to chill and it was the holidays and was so magical. Now I get it. With a job that doesn't stop for the holidays. It sneaks up on you and you barely get time as an adult to process all the activities before it's like the 23rd of December and it's all flown by. I can never seem to find time to do my Christmas shopping or decorating. The holidays completely stress me out now and as a kid I thought it was the best time of the year. 14 year old me. My parents are awesome. Life is easy. 25 year old me. My parents have immeasurably harmed my ability to function as an adult. My dad talking to me at 18. Listen to both sides of the political spectrum and make an informed decision. My dad talking to me at 30. Liberal fake news. My mom. Finding bugs in my house. The outside wall of my childhood bedroom had a Boston Ivy growing over it. Beautiful in certain seasons. One thing I particularly loved about it was how it would often grow up through the floor in the inside behind my dresser. Now when I think about if that happened to my own house, I feel sick. Goosebumps told me that this likely means that your father is trapped in the basement doing mad scientist plant experiments with evil plant dad doppelganger. Stay out of the basement. Swimming. I hate it now. Kids splashing you in the face and asking you throw them in the water and climbing on you like a jungle gym. It's way more fun to be the kid in the pool than the parent. My kids are now old enough I can sit on the side and watch. It is great. I remember being the kid and wondering why all the adults never wanted to get in the pool haha. I wondered how it wasn't fun for them. All they had to do was make it fun and boom. It's fun. I remember thinking how it seemed like adults chose to not have fun. I thought the same thing about Squidward from Spongebob. Then one day, I realized that I've become like Squidward. Join our community discord. Link in description. The idea of being an adult lol. This post just reminds me of this quote from the office I wish there was a way to know you were in the good old days before you actually left them. Andy. Or Billy Joel. The good old days weren't always good, and tomorrow's not as bad as it seems. Travel. As a kid it was all vacation. 
as an adult it's almost all work. Weird, I find self-directed travel to be incredibly relaxing and carefree. Are you managing a large traveling family or something? Not OP, but I loved camping as a kid. Now I take my family, and it's a chore hoarding the camper and making sure it leveled off, doing all the maintenance work, etc. But my kid loves it, so it worth it in the end. Getting sweaty in public. I didn't give a shit when I was a kid. Now it annoys the hell out of me. I enjoyed life as a kid. Not a worry in the world. Now as an adult the stresses of life have me stressed. Getting out of the house. What a time to be alive right now eh? Exercise just by playing. I'd skip. Pogo. Cycle. Run around the park. Scooter. Everything. I just twitched my ankle on the sofa and had a shockwave of pain through my knee like the bones had ground together. I got up to pee last night and my leg just gave way. I miss the energy of childhood. Living. You who. I drank it all the time but I couldn't imagine having a glass of that right now. Oh man I haven't had you who since I was maybe 10. As a kid I drank it while eating hot dogs and pretzels. Which in hindsight is disgusting. Snow. Yep, since I've become an adult I require something stronger like meth. I think just about every cereal and snack food I loved as a kid would taste excessively sugary to me now. Time. I'm 19 now. And I remember how fast time seems to go by compared to when I was 11 or 12. I can't imagine how it's gonna be when I'm 30 or 40. I'm genuinely scared. Every day. Having only $20. Shopping. It's not as fun when it's your hard earned money being spent on stuff you know you don't need. Adults online who were really into me. I'm not an adult but I could be on the swings for hours when I was younger. Now I can barely be there 30 seconds. Driving. I long for the days when I never had to drive anywhere. Spaghettios. Shudder. Edit. Added link for non-US Redditors. Socializing. Honestly, I've grown to hate gaming. I've been a gamer all my life and own every major console since the NES. If you'd have told me a decade ago that I would have a period of 3 months plus out of work, I'd have told you I'd spend that time gaming. However, I just haven't. I've come to realize that any love I had for it has been killed off by games as a service or games designed simply to promote an in-game store. Anyone in their mid late 20s onwards will remember a time where classic games were coming out year after year and each console delivered masterpieces of all genres. Then publishers and developers like EA, Ubisoft, Rockstar, Activision etc. Realized there was billions to be made repackaging the same old game or extending the lifespan of one game far beyond its means. I'm tired of it. I'm so fed up waiting for years between truly unique, creative, generation defining games. Sony and Nintendo kept my interest these last 7 years. But I saw series after series die out to greed and be replaced by loot box driven disasters and free games with expensive skins. I started to wane and realized I no longer played games because I enjoyed them, but because I had done so for as long as could remember. I was almost duty bound to- I unplugged my systems and put them in the loft. I'll give it a few months and pull out my retro consoles and see if my hatred is long term. Pop music. Still not sure whether it was better back then, 80s, or I just behind at 80s pop with happy memories, and current pop with the dumpster fire the world is now. It's mostly just that you aren't remember all the garbage. The good stuff hangs around in our memories and we forget all the trash that used to be out there. There's always a ton of bad music and a little bit of really good music. Aging. Getting hair in new places. And my balls dropping. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for 3 videos a day.